So I'm back with another house tour and this time around I'm going to look at Amanda's new house with her husband. This is my housewarming gift for her. It's actually very heavy okay. I would like to get three each. But if I do that, I wouldn't be able to walk here. Can you tell I'm sweating? I am very hot. I'm not going to knock or ring the doorbell. I'm just going to go in because I don't have Eh, this is wrong. I thought she would unlock for me. Eh, hey, you order grab delivery. Ah. Thank you. Hey, thank you, ah. thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, so this house is a four room resale HDB. Per month, I pay about $800 with Justin. Uh, the location is great, so that's why we paid a premium on this. So, we contracted Leaf Space, which is our interior designer. They actually came up with all the plans and things like that, and the project managed the whole house for us. Let me show you around the house. Yes! This is the feature wall, or rather the feature arc, which obviously still can fit inside. So usually people, right, when they have a feature wall in the house, right, sometimes they will paint like a different colour, for mm. example, so that, you know, not all four walls all look like the same colour. Mm. We couldn't really decide on a colour that we wanted, so we decided to have a feature arc. You can just stand here at the picture wall. Oh. In the feature wall. The feature? In the feature wall. <laughs> 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 the previous owners, right, mm. for their TV console, they had a built-in cabinet with like transparent glass. I didn't really like the look, so I had the interior designer get the contractor to hack everything for me. One of the things also that the interior designer suggested is that we don't do too many built-ins. Rely on furniture to complete your look mm. instead of built-ins. Imagine next time you want to revamp your revamp. house. Yeah, I want to revamp the whole look. And then the whole built-in, you have to ask somebody to go and hack. And there's another like couple of keys, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the? Oh my god, you all got PS5 ah? Yeah. Managed to buy, oh my god, until our access to finding. Oh. Out of stock. <laughs> then he said must wait until next year. Beautiful, beautiful picture, yeah. Over here, we have something that Justin is very proud of. Hey Google, turn off living room lights. Wow! No, I'm to try. Hey Google, turn on living room lights. You can even change colour. Hey Google, change living room lights to red. You have more than one colour, what the? Change living room lights to blue, to pink, to green. That's enough. Stop it. Then, um, this is our couch from Taobao. This is very comfortable. Yeah, um, I think if you see all the way in, I think your feet can touch the <laughs> For the dining table, it's also from Taobao. If I remember correctly, everything is from the same supplier so that the wood looks the same. I wouldn't call this a feature wall, mm. but it's a feature piece. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's also from Taobao. In terms of the renovation, right, this platform was previously from the ex-owners. Mm. We decided to keep it because it's actually one of the key features of the dining area that you can sit here and then it's elevated and you mm -hmm. can look at the view outside. Yeah. Which I will not show you because um, I scared perverts come and find me. <laughs> so, Are we done with the living room? Okay. Yes. So this one is the shoe cabinet. Very messy, don't judge me. My mother's gonna scold me. But it's adjustable actually. So if you have flats, right, I'll put it in like the smaller compartments. Uh. And if I have boots, then I'll put it in. Uh. They make sure that it looked very flush. Like so that the doors, right, it looks seamless. So this is mm. one way to make your home look more sleek, that your doors are seamless. This mirror here was customised on Taobao by Justin. It's a mirror that we can check ourselves out in yeah, yeah, before I, we I head out. Oh, to put lipstick Yeah, I know. Okay, um, kitchen. Let's oh go to the kitchen. Oh my god, this one got the Japanese feels. Just because of one curtain, then she's oh, in Japanese you. feels. What? Wow! <laughs> the kitchen is actually one of the areas where we did a lot of renovations and hacking. The kitchen is a place where Justin hangs out a lot because he likes to cook. Mm. So um, he wanted it to be customised to his liking. For example, right, these countertops, we raised it a little bit 
to fade our height because both of us are 17 and above. The regular countertops were a bit lower. We have a rounded corner here so that we don't have casualties that come into the kitchen. They walk here then they bump into the thing so this is a nice curve. One very important thing about kitchens right is that you can never have enough storage. HDB kitchens are so small. We ask them to build a lot of shelves. All these are all concealed. So all these are like switches for like the electricity. So we told them we want everything beautiful and sleek. So this is our plug. Uh, let me show you. This is the adapter. <gasps> See, I told my mom to do this for oh, our is new it? house. Is it? Yeah, but she never. Oh. I told the interior designer I don't want to keep all the like appliances on the counter because oh. it takes up a lot of space. So he built us a lot of storage to keep all this. Then when we want to use it, we take out. Mm. One thing I did not think about, right, to ask the interior designer to do is to pull this out mm. so that it's easier to use. Oh, so smart this thing! We want to conceal everything. We made sure that wherever we can have drawer, Cupboard, we have drawer and cupboard. Mm. So, miss Charmaine Seal. Uh, yes, Miss Would you like? Would you like to wash your hands? Yes. Oh my god, don't tell me this is also smart tech. Maybe. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Wait, what? Hello? Oh my god. Got smart dryer. No, don't. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, then this one we also customize it to wash the sink. I love this. Yeah. I think this is a great idea. Yeah, then. <laughs> Come back. Very smart soap. Random also, but it's also smart. It really is, guys. It really is smart so. So right, when you cook and everything, then you don't want you want your hands dirty and grimy. So this one you smart soap, and then this one you just like that. <laughs> <laughs> when the interior designer asked us to pick the color of this laminate, mm. right? Then we had to like take the this stone and then we compare, compare, uh. compare. But it's a bit difficult, right? Because the samples they give you are small. Yeah, then you cannot visualize. But yeah. actually, they also do like 3D rendering. Oh, so they did that for you? Yeah, so they did actually a 3D rendering of the whole place uh. to let you visualize what this look look like. Oh my god, okay, yeah. that's help. that helps. And then this is the most hardworking machine in the entire household. This is our dishwasher. If you and your significant other always um, argue about doing the dishes, just get one. So this is the service yard. The previous owners, they don't have this board here. Mm. We asked the interior designer to put this board here so that we can put all this. We also have this clothes drying rack. Mm. Um, this one is from Taobao also. Um, it actually has a lot of different functions. You can move up and down, Dry. kill germs, oh. have heat blowing out, uh, and as well as a regular fan. Now we are on to the room. <laughs> we have two study rooms and one master bedroom. So this is Justin's study room. <laughs> Wee! Wee! What is this for? <laughs> it's the omni desk. It's the standing desk. No, but why so high? So that when he work is okay, I mean he's taller than me, and that's why so when he work is like that. Oh no, just just bad. So one thing that we did here also is to hack away all the cabinets over here. The previous owner had a lot of cabinets here. Yeah, but once we removed it, right, the whole room became bigger instantly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels a lot bigger. Yeah. Let's go. Oh my god, it's like a great place go. that I want to edit in also. Uh, no lah, not really. Mine is the smaller room, so I'll tell you why it's the smaller room. So this is the smaller room, actually it's supposed to be the same size as his room but we made a design choice that it into the space of this room. Yeah, here is actually hollow. It's actually our wardrobe. Mm, so your wardrobe from your master bedroom extend into this room? Yes, correct. Yet another quest in storage. Mm. When we did the wardrobe right, the wardrobe is only up to here. So the on top here, there was supposed to be a hole. And then we told the interior designer, I think this hole will be ugly. So we made it into storage where we can put more stuff. Oh, oh my god, wait, you match. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so the guest toilet is very, very small. Mm. It's literally just like that. It's every BPO toilet. Oh, well, it's so small, right? That if you want to open the cover. Oh, you must close your door. Yeah, so this guest toilet, right, was actually, in terms of design, one of the trickier parts of 
the house. The interior designer and us, right, we ch kept trying to think about how we can put like a shower screen mm. to prevent, you know, the water splashing to everywhere else. But yeah. it's really very difficult because if you have a door, right, you need space to open the door. Yes, yes. And you, it's just almost impossible. So we can only do one here. Same, same. Oh, yours also? Yeah, but mine, we can also only put one panel. So we mm. put it here instead to block the toilet bowl. Then oh. we sacrifice the sink. Oh, yeah. So it's either you sacrifice the sink or the toilet bowl. That's right, that's right. Ta-da! Oh my god, I like how it's spacious here. The master bedroom, we largely left it untouched other than the wardrobe. The previous owners didn't have the wardrobe inside their master bedroom. They had it on the other side, which is the other study room. Your study room? Yeah, my study room. So, it was kind of weird to us because if we want to change, and then there's somebody outside in the mm. living room, you have to come out from the master bedroom toilet into the other room. We wanted it to be more seamless. Lah. So, you go yeah. from the master bedroom, then you just come here to yeah. take your clothes, right? This configuration is what I had in my old house. So I was quite used to this configuration. For this one, we wanted to have some storage for like longer items. Towels, sweatpants and hoodies, jeans and as well as um, hangers. Yeah, I think the wardrobe was probably like the biggest change over here. All the rest, the same. Okay, so the master bedroom toilet is slightly bigger than the Guest room toilet, at least I can open the drawer here. <laughs> we have a sink from IKEA. This is a mirror storage as well. All these racks and everything all bought. All everything all from Taobao. Yeah, even this fake plant. We cannot put a real plant here. Our poop smell, I think the plant will die. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um this is the shower store. It's a lot bigger than the guest toilet. Okay, so why is the door diagonal? Because we have to play around with space. Ah, uh, because you all see this one. The wall ends here. So yeah. if they do straight, the toilet will be very small. But they do here, it will hit yeah. the main door. Mm. Uh, okay, thank you for the house tour. I can't wait for this to end so that I can you know I the living room makes oh, it yes. for real. <laughs> but then right, okay, because you renovated your mm. entire house, mm. how long did it take and about how much did it cost? I think the ballpark figure is around 40k mm. because we did quite a lot of hacking. We did things like we hacked the whole wall of the wardrobe that kind. So yeah. it cost quite a bit and we revamped the two toilets. Like we hacked all the tiles mm. and everything because we didn't want to use like the old tiles. Because it was during like the COVID season. Right. I think it took about quite a few months actually. A lot of our pieces of furniture are mm. all shipped over from overseas. Ah. So it's not something that you just go to the warehouse in Singapore yeah. that you buy and then... So some things like for example the bed was custom made. Mm. So it took a while to come. How was the process like? Did you come up with pictures from Pinterest and mm. you show him a mood board? Mm. Or he give you a questionnaire or how does it work? So we prepared like a Pinterest board. So this is something to note. If you want to go to an ID, you must also be prepared your floor plan. Then you need to prepare your budget. Your renovation budget 15k versus 150k very different. Yeah? Mm. So you tell them what you want and then after that they actually did a 3D rendering for us so that you can oh. see roughly what the feel looks like oh. and then they will also advise you what kind of furniture to buy. Oh, okay. So you can buy your own furniture but if you are not sure like for example where to find the best furniture to suit your look, mm. they have like a stylist also. So it's like if you want, mm. you can all in one. Mm. What the idea asked us to do afterwards was to go down to the office and then we look at all like the materials. For example, the laminates, even the paint, the wall colour and everything. Then they will choose like, they will shortlist a few for you and then they will show you. After they site recce, they confirm with you what is your ideal look. They will come up with the 3D rendering. Mm. Shortly after you can start uh, renovation work. Oh, so once you get the keys, then they start already? Yeah, you can start already. So for resale, it's faster. Mm. Did you learn anything through the renovation process? Or like from your ID? There's quite a bit. La. Certain things you cannot do. Um, HDB, for example, got certain regulations. Then the ID will advise you actually, HDB, you cannot do that. If not later, um, illegal. Uh. Yeah. Materials, mm. like they will advise you based on experience. Um, like for example, our interior designer will advise us, oh, okay, so you need to choose um, this kind of toilet towel so that it's anti-sleep. I'm sure it also helps you save time and work, right? So, if you're the kind of person that you don't like to handhold everything mm. because, for example, you're too busy or whatever, mm. then if you want like, a certain kind of look but you're not sure how to achieve it, then they will do all the designing stuff for you. Oh. How was the process of buying the house for you like? First, you have to choose mature, non mature estate. Mm. So, mature estate is like all your Ang mm. Mokyo, all your Topayo, where it's Anthony's. already like, yeah, where it's very, very, very like, Full of, full of people. people. Yeah. Non mature estate is like, for example, Tengah. It's not as ready, but it's also cheaper. After you narrow down the estate, then you look for 
location? Is it near facilities that you want? Uh, so for some people, certain things are very important to them. From my experience, right, a lot of people look for houses near MRT. Yes, yes, so yes. near MRT was our top priority. priority. Something that was important to us was a mall. Mm. So the mall must have a supermarket. Because mm. I know sales of balance, the process is quite similar to BTO if I'm not wrong. Mm. What about for resale? We said you just go into the person's house and then mm, I love your house, no money. Oh, that's all? You don't need to go through B, uh, HDB, man? Eh? Okay, so right, you want to buy HDB resale, right? You need to be married. Immediately. Within three months of taking your key. Is that not the same as BTO? For BTO, I think you have a longer run time. Oh, because they need to build the Because they need to build. Nowadays, uh, all like seven years, that kind, six years. Uh, so, um, you still got seven years, six years to decide whether you want to be this person. So. Uh, Within three months, you need to produce a marriage certificate. So, you have to ROM in order to tell HDB that we are a married couple buying this single uh, flat. So, uh, yeah. Lor. If you don't, right, then they will take the house back from you. But the big difference between BTO and resale is that you can choose your location. So for BTO, right, it's a lot more rigid. Mm. For resale, you can literally go to whatever you mm. need and then you just, you know, five room, four room, whatever. Yeah. For BTO, you have to just rely mm. on the floor plan. Mm, mm, mm. So if you wait for like five plus years or six plus years, right, and then you go into your BTO and then you see the view outside, uh, then uh, too bad. Lah. Yeah. Thank you for watching this episode of Life at TSL. Uh, if you'd like to know more about renovation about the ID that I contracted, uh, you can click in the link in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and ring the notification bell and watch our other videos over there. We don't have much houses to um, do house tour anymore, I just saying. Oh, yeah, huh? so, Waiting for you to get married. Oh. Excellent. <laughs>